What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to review the Shadows of Rose DLC for Resident Evil Village. Obviously released yesterday, remember it's part of the $20 kind of expansion pack, and so that's the price. You do get more than the Shadows of Rose DLC, but I specifically want to talk about that. I absolutely loved it. Now, the beginning of this, and it's going to be really hard to talk about this game without spoilers, so I'm going to give very quick kind of impressions, my overview on it, and then we're going to go into the spoilers, so I can kind of just rant on how uh, much I really did love it. I thought this was a really good DLC. And just so you know, I like to do this so you guys have this info. This took me just under three hours, so it's two hours, I believe, in 54 minutes is how long it took me to beat it. I didn't rush through. I mean, I read documents and everything that kind of uh, came up in the game the average that they were saying leading into the game was four hours um again like i beat it under an hour from what they said but i did really really enjoy it this was kind of the best of resident evil village in my opinion like it, it and again hard to go too much into without spoiling it i didn't really know too much about this dlc and they didn't really talk too much about the dlc before it came out all you really know is rose wants to get rid of her power she's sick of being bullied uh, at school she kind of just wants to live a normal life life kind of cliche in a way but honestly it actually really works in this case and she just wants to get rid of it so she goes on a quest to get rid of her powers or try to get rid of them and uh, that brings you kind of back into the world of resident evil and that's kind of the short of it and i think knowing only that actually helps because when you're going through these environments you're like oh this is really cool like i like what they did here you can understand how it only took them like a year or so right to kind of do a turnaround for this um there's plenty of cutscenes. there's plenty of really everything in this game it's got again without spoiling it all of what made resident evil village pretty special it has all of that in honestly a three hour package now that goes against the game in some ways um because it, it does go very very quickly and the mechanics they're teaching you gets dropped very quickly as well again we'll talk about that in the spoiler section so there are weaknesses the end boss i don't know if i was pressing the buttons wrong or my controller was broken or i just suck it could be a, a mix of all three of those but it was like kind of broken for me that i literally couldn't do certain moves and i was screaming at my controller to make it work uh, eventually i did beat it and it was no big deal but and honestly thinking about it it's like well that really was just a blimp on the entire you know product that i played i loved it i really really did the story was awesome rose is a really cool character i actually really really like rose and there's more to it and you know what let's just go into it now so if you wanted that overview there it is i suggest picking it up i don't think you're gonna like it if you didn't like village i, I would say that's like a thousand percent for sure so if you liked village this is an easy i really think you should get this if you didn't like village there's no way <laughs> there's no way that you would actually enjoy this so there you go now on to the spoiler section all right so i do want to say I was right in a sense, you know, I made the video leading up to this and I said, you know what, Ethan's coming back. You don't do a ending of the Winter's Family Saga, as I believe was the quote from them, that this was going to end their story. You don't do that by just ending Rose. And you don't do it with the fact that there's this mysterious, you know, text, you know, thing that's helping you out through the entire game. That's got to be Ethan. And I said that in the video leading into this. I have the documents. I have the proof. And I was so right. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only one who predicted that. But that was awesome. I mean, you could kind of tell almost immediately when they when they gave him the name Michael. I think that was their biggest attempt to make it be like, oh, okay, it's not Ethan. Because they named him. <laughs> you know what I mean? They gave him a name. This person is a protector of Rose, right? Obviously cares a lot about her. Wants her, you know, to at least survive but wants the best for her and you can just see in the dialogue it's like yeah that's what ethan would say and so then obviously when he pushes her kind of out of the way of evelyn it's like there we freaking go we got it really when he transports her to their house and they're going through the memories or when he says like uh, do you resent him do you resent like your father it's like all right come on the writing is on the walls just give us ethan and then they did and you know the reason i spend so much time on this it's Rose's story, but as the game goes on, Ethan becomes more and more impactful, and he's really, I mean, I don't know if he's just as important as her, but he is very, very important, and the thing that this game, I honestly believe, does beautifully is enhance 
everything about Village. I mean, literally, just the way this game ends, and you don't realize it, obviously, when you're watching it with Resident Evil Village, is this Shadows of Rose takes place before the ending of Resident Evil Village, when she's on the bus, and then she goes to see his grave. And I think that works perfectly. It's like, well, firstly, if she put flowers on his grave and saw that it was Ethan, she wouldn't have questioned back when we were in the, the missions that, like, Michael, oh, he's my dad. Like, she didn't put it together, the name yet. But, like, you know, like, everything, even the dialogue, every single dialogue choice of that ending, which is odd because, remember, they didn't plan on doing DLC. They made Village to end it. That was the ending of Ethan. That's what the message at the end of the, the game. And that was going to be the end of, of the saga for the, the Winters family. And so putting this right before it, it's like, yeah, you know, when she gets offended of the Evelyn joke, it's like, yeah, that makes sense. Actually, that really makes sense based off what she just went through. Him telling her that she's so much like her father and or her saying, I know. It's like, well, you wouldn't really know, but now you do because you talk to him. You literally talk to him. So I loved it. I loved the extra layers that Shadows of Rose, it didn't just, it wasn't just like a fun three hour experience. It was, but it also added on to what Village did. And then as for, you know, the DLC, again, all the moments with Ethan and uh, and Rose were awesome. I love that father-daughter bond. I think it enhanced Ethan's character even more. I've always been, and I actually made a video last year when Village came out, I'm an Ethan fan. I actually really like Ethan as a main character. Um, you know, I, I get people that don't like him and the faceless thing, you know, you can, you can take it or leave it for some people, but I've always really liked him even since 7, and I really think this enhances it because it kind of just makes him more of a father figure um, that you don't get to see too much in Village, even though it's a main, you know, specifically the ending, it's a main component of it. You see that a lot here. And then even in terms of how it's broken down, it kind of takes the best of the, you know, Village and it puts it into your in Lady Dimitrescu's, uh, you know, uh, castle and you're battling. And, you know, it's got the same vibes too. Like there is a lot of puzzle work and there's a lot of exploration in that first section. Second section is pure horror and those mannequins are beautifully done there i mean that's that's a really it's a good sequence and they did a really good job with that you know a location let's say in village they did an excellent job here as well so i thought that was really well done and then the ending kind of being like the full-out war like you're gonna just be given so much ammo now what i mentioned earlier in the non-spoiler section the thing that doesn't really work for this game is because it takes the same beats from village but it's so much more condensed they leave things so like you know in the beginning you're crafting the crafting is a main part of the beginning of the game but once you leave that and you get to like pure horror for the middle part and then even the ending you never go back to crafting like you never craft again because the middle part you have no weapons and then the last part it they just give you ammo like you you know they just hand it out to you so you don't need to craft it right and that's you know when it's three hours and it's just really bouncing you around the mechanics don't have time to kind of breathe and expand and enhance and things like that. So that is, I would say, the one weakness that because it moves so fast, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff that they're teaching you doesn't really hold up. But it's a blast. I mean, it really, again, it does give you the best of Village because you get the puzzles. If you like puzzles, and there are some really cool ones in this in, in Shadows of Rose, you get that. If you like full-on action, there's a couple different enemy types, and you're going to fight them with a few different weapons, and you have that. If you liked the pure horror parts of village oh they're giving it to you and i think they're better here i think the mannequins and the mechanics of not looking away from them are real i mean it's smart it's been done before right but it's it's very very smart and it's very terrifying and they did a really good job so you know ultimately again like and and, and 20 dollars, it's not even just for shadows of rose like for me to be flat out honest i've said this before I paid it for that. I really don't have any want or need to go back into Village or to do like the mercenaries or anything like that. I, I got this $20. I put that down simply for this DLC. And uh, but that, and that's not what everybody's going to do. So it's not even necessarily $20 for three hours. It's $20 for everything they give you, which is probably more worth it. But I had a blast and I don't regret spending the money at all. This is like, this is one of the better things I've played 
this year. This this moves up the list uh, automatically because it really is just some of the best of Village with honestly some added depth. It makes Village better. It makes Rose a good character. It makes Ethan a better character. You get some emotion. You get some cool fights. You get some cool bosses. I mean, I, I like it quite a bit. One other final thing I want to say, just as kind of a, a comedic joke, but I love it, is this, the continuation of hiding Ethan's face. So obviously, you know, in the third person mode, people have discovered, you know, he'll turn his body so you can't look. And even in the Shadows of Rose DLC, it is downright hilarious. But it doesn't take away from, like, the scenes. It, it It's maybe like, all right, they're really trying so that you can't see him. They'll show his bottom half where you can see his mouth. They'll put his hand on her face, right, in that one emotional scene at the end. And his arm arm is now blocking his face there are many moments once you get to see Ethan that uh they purposely really hard more way more than you've ever had it before because it's third person and he's not the main character um they really hide his face and it is very I I, I don't know if it enhances it my wife says it enhances it so I wanted to add this in but uh it definitely makes it pretty funny and uh, maybe it adds a little element to it that you know deserves to be talked about so let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on and i'll see you all on the next one